language arts and writing. And uh, talking about working as a team, they're going to see that with the fifth grade teachers. We work as a team on everything we do. We come together as a team. We plan as a team. We know what each other's teaching. We're always there for each other. We have each other's backs. And that's what we try to show your sons and your daughters, to have each other's back and to stand up for one another, and that they're the class of 2020. And so they need to come together as a class, as a team, and work all together on that. So we're always modeling that. And when you need us, we're there for you, and we're there for you as a team. If you need us for a conference, we conference with you all together. So if you have a question, because usually if your child's doing something in one class, they're doing it in all classes. So when you need to see us, we are so welcome to be there for you. So let me tell you some ways you can communicate with us. First, you can communicate with us through the planners. That's easy. If, as long as your child lets us know that there's a note in the planner, because we don't check them unless you know they've had a mark or something. But if they have a note, then we can check the planner. Secondly, emails. That's a good way. In the front of all their planners on the front page should be sticky notes of labels. And those little labels, there's five labels. And each label has a teacher's name, their email, the phone number to their classroom, and their blog. So that you can come to see each of us and that we can help you however. So shooting an email. Now our conference period is not till 2.45 in the day. So if you shoot us one at 8 o'clock, you know, there's a lot of times my computer, I'm too busy with it and using it with the kids that I don't check an email till 2.45. So you might have to wait just a little bit before we can respond to that. But we will get in touch with you, and we'd be glad to help you or answer any questions. You remember that we want your child to be successful. We want it just as much as you do. We want that, and we're going to do everything in our power to do that. So as a team, we're all on this same team for this same journey so that next year when they step in that middle school, they'll have it going on. They will not be scared because they're going to know that they are ready and willing and uh, prepared to walk in those doors. Okay. With that being said, times are changing. Woo! Times are changing. And you know, I'm old school. And things have really changed since the day I was in school. We do a lot with technology in our classrooms. A lot. When they come in these classrooms, they're, they're pulling out things, and they're teaching me, and I'm teaching them. And we're working together again as a team. If they have their own device, and you don't mind them bringing it to school, yay. They are allowed to do that. All we'd like for you to do is to write a little note just saying, you know, yes, they have my permission. I don't want them sneaking out of the house with a device that you've not given them permission to use. In our classrooms, like I have 12 iPods in the classroom, 13. My son gave me one when he got an iPhone. Uh, they can use their phones as long as they're using it for educational purposes and they're not calling, hey, you know, during school time or sending, getting on anything that they're not supposed to. When they have their device, it's all guided and we're right there walking around and watching everything that they do. Um, if they have any uh, tablets, you know, iPads, uh, Nook, any, any tablets, they're welcome to bring those if you trust them with that. To me, it's better if they're using their own device because when we add them, like today I even had a little girl bring her own computer. She had her own little Acer. So what we're doing now is we're going to be blogging. Each child is going to be setting up what's called an e-portfolio. An e-portfolio is an electronic portfolio that travels with them from here on out. So their senior year, they can go back and their first poem they have written in my class is a color poem and it's going to be attached on their blog and they can go to their archives and can see what they wrote in fifth grade and compare it to how they're writing their senior year. Not only that, I'm going to show them how to get to different pages. They're going to have a math page, they're going to have a social studies page, and on those pages they're going to be putting their thoughts. They're going to journal about what they're learning in math. They're going to be putting things from social studies in there. This is going to be something that they'll have with them forever. Back in our days, we had an old folder that had papers that were crumpled up in there. Now it's all these wonderful devices. So please encourage your child. If they have it, they are welcome to bring it as long as they don't misuse it. You know, and they use it within the guidelines of the school. We can't have them on Facebook, which, you know, uh, not even really supposed to be for 10 years old. You know, they're supposed to be 13 to have their own Facebook anyway. 
But, you know, we do what's called Edmodo here, which is like Facebook, but it's done within the school, and it's done on their level, and I'm on there with them, and I chat with them, and go and kind of, we teach them safety. Oh, Miss Perry's great with that. She teaches such wonderful safety on everything that they do on the Internet, because if you don't teach it to them, they're not going to know. So why not? It's their world. Let's give it to them, and let's teach them how to use it properly. And if you're out there monitoring everything, every one of their blogs, if I was a parent, I would subscribe to your child's blog. You know when you register for school and they were helping you to subscribe to that homeroom teacher's blog? I would go back and subscribe to all of our blogs. I subscribe to my son who's a senior, all of his teacher's blogs. He loves it because I know when he has tests and assignments. So I can say, hey, babe, did you study for this test? Because you got a physics test coming up. He just loves that. You can do the same thing. We put stuff on there all the time. Subscribe to your own child's blog. If you don't know how, come see us. We'll show you, or they will show you, because I'm showing them in class. We're working on our blogs. We started. Today was day one. We'll be working on them and working on them and working on them, and they can do it at home. You know, it's so funny. They said, Miss Ganon, can I work on this at home? Um, yeah, so we want them to. Let them do what they want to. So anyway, yes, they're allowed to bring their devices. You can spread the word, because I know some are afraid, as long as you don't mind. Um, I have a lock. We all have locks. We lock our room when we go to lunch. We keep everything under lock and key, because we do have so much technology. As long as put Finder on there, and then you can find it if they lose it. You know, there's so many ways now that you can do that. If you need any help, please let us know, and remember, your team of fifth grade teachers are here for you and your child. So please let us know if there's anything that we can help you with. Every single person working in this building wants that for your child. We don't ever want to look at a child and say, we didn't do our best for you today. I don't ever want to have to look at you and say, you know what, we just, we're just not going to do our best for your child today. No, we are all going to do our absolute best for your child to be successful. Um, will there be times that there may be a mistake? Yes. Even as a mom, I make mistakes. So there might be times where there's a mistake, but nothing is ever done intentionally to hurt a child, intentionally to make a child not feel worthy of anything. At the end of the day, our goal is just like yours. We want your child to be successful. And so through communication, through support, and then through teamwork, working together, we can reach our common goal, and that's your child's success. So thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for your support. Please email us, call us if you have any questions, um, any concerns. We're here to help you help your child be successful. Thank you for coming tonight.